Welcome back to Stogie Tastes. I, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Pain's tolerable. Still hasn't gone away. It's It went from a five down to a comfortable three. Well, not comfortable to a tolerable three, so. <sighs> My wife decided to reward me with uh, this. Bedfellows Indie Pals. It is one of the latest, one of the latest beers. Hexo is uh, a Muslim Canadian company is given out to the nation. And I've had a few already. I've had a few. But I think it's time to give it its full review. Put this one to bed. You know, there's the other one, the housemates, but uh, that'll come in time. Uh, it has 10 milligrams of THC, 2 milligrams of CBD. Its calorie intake is 110%. No fat saturated or trans 25 grams of carpal hydrates 5% 5 grams of sugar 2 grams of protein 0 cholesterol 10 milligrams of sodium 300 milligrams of potassium 20 milligrams of calcium and that's it That is it. Again, this is powered by Hexo. It's a uh, Muslim Canadian company, as I've said in the past with my Molo 5 videos. <sighs> with the amount of pain I'm still in, I'm hoping this will, this will cover up the what's left of it, at least for the meantime. So, without further ado, cheers. Kinda has a grapefruit flavor, almost like a Rattler. Yeah, almost like a Rattler. It's a grapefruit flavor. I, I know I know I've seen a couple people already say that it's a citrus flavor. I the way I smell it, it's a grapefruit flavor. Anyways with me mug. I want to show you what it looks like out of the bottle. And that is some very clouded beer, very cloudy. I know it's very cloudy when I uh, mix it with my regular beer, but it's very cloudy. It's just, look how cloudy it is. I'm not sure whether this is supposed to be a lager or a ale or whatever, or an IPA. But, get, get it all in there. I don't know, this would be something I'd share with friends. I would. But yeah, like um, Hexo does a lot of the Mola Fives and the in Bedfellows, so you know it's you know I I got one person already asking me uh, why haven't I done the Molo 2.5, and the thing is, is my tolerance is a little bit high for that, so that's why I'm I haven't done it yet. Maybe in the near future, if I can uh, take a tolerance break from my 
You guys can call it my medication. I call it my medical marijuana. But anyways, without further ado, cheers. Almost reminds me of an IPA. It's got the hops, it's got the taste of an IPA, it's got barley flavor. Again, it almost tastes like a Rattler, almost. That's just my opinion. Others may differ. But yeah, it almost tastes like a Rattler. Not bad after the first shot. Aftertaste isn't that bad. You know, for an IPA, it's not that bad. But all right, well. I'll give it about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll uh, come back with a with a update till then cheers well <clears throat> it's been about 10 minutes and it's kicked in a little bit it's not really, you know, like it usually takes an hour or so for the marijuana to kick in, like it, whether it's edibles or a drink, you know, it, it varies from person to person, but yeah, I figure with the 10 milligrams, 10 milligrams would kick in a lot quicker, but sadly no. When it kicks in, it kicks in. I'm not going to lie. When it kicks in, it kicks in. I, uh, you know, like, this is 10 milligrams. The Molo 5s, you know, like I said, there's the 2.5 milligram and then there's the 5 milligram, which are the Molo 5s. And, uh, I don't know, I think the weaker it is, the faster it kicks in. I don't know, that's just me. But any, any taste. Taste. Still got that grapefruit smell. Part of me is wondering if, uh, you know, like it does have the IPA taste to it. The hops and everything. I'm just wondering if they were trying to do a thing between both Radler and an IPA. You know, kudos to them. It works. It works. You know, like I'm not that big of a beer connoisseur. Yeah, I drink a lot on this channel, but non be non to nothing. I just I prefer my lagers and my ales. <clears throat> I just wish. Uh, I just wish beer was cheaper here in Saskatchewan, but I digress. The taste is still the same. I like it. You know, like, yeah, my uh, face says it all, but I do like uh, IPA. Some have good flavors. It's just I can't stand the aftertaste. This doesn't really have that bad of an aftertaste. It's it's fair. It's fair. You know, like it's one of those things where uh, it'll uh, it can't be tolerated. 
Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can let this fully kick in before I uh, end this review. And uh, I'll probably give it another 10, 15 minutes. If it doesn't kick, fully kick in, I'll just wait an hour and then uh, wait until it fully kicks in and then uh, I'll give you my final report. Anyways, till then. Cheers. So, not even two minutes after I posted that update, it kicked in. It kicked in like a slap in the face. So, I don't know. Truthfully, as inexpensive as as uh, weed beer can be, you know, like. I really do not see it as a replacement for uh, regular sauce, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not a real replacement for uh, actual beer. You know, like, you can, like, I know it's not legal right now, but, uh, you know, like, for companies to mix it in, but, you know, you yourself can mix it in with some alcohol and it'll taste half decent. Like, it depends on the percentage and whatnot there, but, you know, like, I've had weed beer with vodka before, and, you know, like, if, uh, my opinion about that is, is, you know, like, I used to do that a lot when I was a kid, it was, uh, probably the cheapest way to hold on, hold your alcohol, but I digress, not teaching anybody anything. Don't get any ideas. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, like, I don't see this as a replacement for anything, you know, like, you know, I see a lot of people, they like uh, non-alcoholic beer. Well, it's technically non-alcoholic if you think about it. It has 0.05% alcohol in it, you know, like. O'Doul's, Coors Edge, uh, Budweiser Prohibition. By the way, that stuff tastes like piss. But that's just me. I'm not a Bud fan, so to each to their own. But in any case, you know, like it's. You know, like. I like them. I'll drink them the way they are, and I'll drink them the way I want to. You know, everybody has their pick. Just be careful. Drink responsibly. But uh, as well as use weed responsibly. I don't know. It. I don't know. Like. When I did the Molo 5 challenge, I figured 20% wasn't going to kill me. But I guess from what I now have researched, having separate having separate beers combined and mixed together doesn't matter if they're coming from the same box or the same bottle, the profile changes. And what I mean by profile is sometimes it all, they'll, sometimes the, uh, well, in this case, it's weed beer with no alcohol. The, the percentage of uh, THC will go up, as well as uh, the mixture of the CBD. You know, only each mole of five had five percent CBD in it. So you know, with the pain factor, you know, it's almost like overdosing on medicine. But I don't know. It's it's kind of a gray area with me. It's just. <clears throat> 
you know, CBD is good for a lot of things. Like, um, when I say a lot of things, it's good for pain. But if you overdo it, you overdo it. And in this case, you know, 10% is not bad. You know, 10 milligrams is not bad. It's, you know, like if you can manage to get yourself two of these, there's your night right there. If you're a high tolerant person, maybe you need two or three more. Not judging, not suggesting anything at all. I'm just saying, you know, <clears throat> mixing weed drinks or even mixing alcohol for that matter, the fucking uh, alcohol and the THC percentage goes up. So that's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. <sighs> but, you know, like, do I recommend it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I recommend it. You know, I know a lot of beer connoisseurs out there who wouldn't, wouldn't mind trying something new. You know, they, as I've said before, if you if you really want to mix alcohol or anything like beer or even uh, vodka, you know, Bob's your uncle, go for it. Just drink responsibly and use responsibly. That's all I ask and that's all I want to say about it so for right now I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day hopefully uh, the pain will subside a little bit you know like I, it's tolerable tolerable it's not comfortable but it's tolerable you know what I mean by tolerable you know like the difference between comfortable and tolerable. Tolerable, I can walk around and I'll still be in pain, but I'll be okay. Comfortable is when the pain is still there gradually. Gradually. And you know, I can still go up and down stairs, no problem. Right now I'm having problems going upstairs, but that's just the pain starting to subside. You know, they always call it recovery pains. But in any case, I'm done blabbing. I'm just going to finish up me beer and uh, edit this video. So, till the next one, cheers.